Oh gosh. Here are all the all 30 NBA City Edition uniforms for the 2021 season. Here are all 30 NBA City Edition uniforms for the 2020 to 2021 season. Oh boy. First up, Atlanta Hawks. Hmm. I respect it. I respect what they're doing here. I think that's dope. The Hawks will honor the life and work of Darton, Dr. Martin Luther King. Darton. Born and raised in Atlanta, the Hawks partnered with the King Estate Foundation to create a uniform in Infinity Black, Vintage Gold, and Fidelity White with King's initials MLK across the chest. King's signature also appears in the lower left corner of the jersey. Proceeds from the sales of this jersey will go support economic empowerment programs for Atlanta's communities of color. Love that. Love that. Love that. I think that's sick. That's great. It still has the Hawks, uh, obviously, font going on here, which is great. Uh, I'm always a big fan of black and gold. Hashtag Gold Ranger. Hashtag Power Rangers. That's a dope thing to do. You can't really hate on a, a jersey, right? That's like directly going to benefit the community. <laughs> I'm like, nah, dude. Jersey sucks, dude. I mean, bro, what they even do with the piping, bro? What is this font, dude? Who puts a who puts a signature on their jersey? No, that's fantastic. Love that. Here we go, Boston Celca Celtics. Second jersey, Boston Celtics. Uh, Kevin Hart, what do you think about that? That shit was ass. I agree. These are pretty bad. Uh, they picked like Ariel Sands font for these. Uh, I don't know what's going on with this. The stripe and the I don't know what this is called collar and the this is awful this is this is terrible this is what the Boston Celtics jersey would look like if they had to auto generate it for a game with no licensing that's that's what this looks like this video game is professional basketball pro ball 2021 this is awful if won the most championships of any team in the NBA they decided to go with the most basic jersey you've ever seen Boston Celtics will wear a jersey designed to resemble the many championship banners that hang above the court at TD Garden. Are you effing serious? This is what they based it off of the banner. Uh, that's that's fan that's that's all so bad. Okay, a uh, lot to take in here. Next up, the Brooklyn Nets City Edition jersey. I'm gonna read this before I before I even react to the jersey. The Brooklyn Nets are carrying on their theme of honoring a local artist with the city uniform. Uh, this time, it's Brooklyn-born Jane, J Jane, Jean Michael Basquiat. I hope I'm saying that right. Who started out as a street artist in the 1970s before making a very successful transition to galleries in the 1980s. The jersey is black with Brooklyn Nets, B-K-L-Y-N Nets across the front and white. Several multicolored designs are featured along other side, along either side of the jersey. I can't read this morning. Uh, as well as around the team watermark word mark in the chest in Basque style. Basque, Basque, Bas, Basque. That last one definitely is it. Uh, you know, this is going to be one of the jerseys I'm going to have to see on someone. <clears throat> I feel like because the lettering is definitely the, the most controversial part here. And it looks a little comic sansy, which is tough for me. I'm going to have to see this on on the court. This could be real dog poo poo, or it could be kind of fire and grow on me. I, this this could grow on me, but right now I'm feeling like this is this is not this is not the way. Yeah, that's a tough one. Uh, I'm gonna say right now that that's like a that's like a probably a no for me, dog. Uh, unless I see it on the on the court and it grows on me, maybe. But I'm gonna say it's probably a a, a, a no for me. Next up is the Charlotte Hornets. My first thought is, who the hell calls it Buzz City? I'm not about it. I don't know who calls it Buzz City. Did you know Charlotte was the home of the first U.S. branch mint? Okay. Well, you do now. Thanks. Thanks to the Hornets' new mint green uh, city uniforms with gold and granite striping, this pays tribute to both that mint as well as the Carolina Gold Rush. In the early 19th, 19th century, the gold carries on the theme of cash and riches. But why granite? Well, granite is the state rock of the Hornets, home state of North Carolina. Okay, cool. 
Nowhere in there do they explain who the hell decided to call it Buzz City. It's not that bad. So here's the thing. It's not that bad. It's a fine design. I'm okay with the color and the striping is fine. I, I do love this font. I just really hate Buzz City. I think that's the dumbest thing. I understand. I under got, got okay. Look, I understand why they use the word Buzz because they're Hornets. Thing. I I do get that. However, no one calls it Buzz City. I have never in my life heard someone refer to Charlotte as Buzz City. Where are you moving, dude? I'm moving over to Buzz City, homie. Excuse me. Where are you moving? Over to Buzz City. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like some up and coming town of the 1920s. A lot of buzz going on there. Hey, this is opportunities for jobs at the local paper. And like, what the fuck? No, no one calls it Buzz City. It's dumb as hell. They're moving to Charlotte. I think they missed the mark on the connection here. I think they just were reaching. They're like, I don't know, guys. What is Charlotte known for? I think they literally Googled it. I think they were like, what is Charlotte known for? They're like, home of the first branch mint. They're like, bang, let's use it. Run it, Gary. And they just. Make a mint green. We're gonna get there. I gotta move on because I can't look at Buzz City anymore. Next up, Chicago Bulls. Try not to look at checks. I don't wanna get influenced. I'm gonna give this one a yes. Wait, do they all have the same like tuck in style? No, they don't, okay. I'm gonna give this one a yes for me. I think that's a W. I think that they, they did that well. Let's read the caption here. Bulls are going black and gold. In their tribute to architecture of their city, Chicago is written across the front in a typeface similar to that used in, on signage through the city along with the words, no little plans. A quote from city planner Daniel Burnham, who was instrumental in rebuilding Chicago following the great Chicago fire in the 1800s. Dope. Nailed the execution. I think that's great. I think you found a historical thing that relates to Chicago. You found a font that everyone agrees is very Chicago-esque. Uh, also probably goes along with the musical Chicago, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I think you nailed the colors. I think those look great. I think I remember if I said colors already, but I think that looks awesome. Only part I'm not 100% sold on is this side paneling here. I'm not sure what's happening there. It's a bit much. I think they're trying to uh, resemble that to some of the architecture within Chicago. Of that like kind of Gothic style, I believe is would be the architecture. But I love that, no little plans. I think that's the dopest quote yet, uh, as far as dope quotes go. And I think they nailed the, the font. I like these. They actually did some research into the history of Chicago rather than just like, did you know that there was a mint here once? <laughs> okay, moving on. Cleveland, God help us. Holy, f what is that dumpster fire? What is this? I'm gonna feel real bad if this is like for kids. That's why I'm like, I gotta read this thing before I'm like, yikes. The Cavs are honoring the city status as the home of rock and roll. Never mind. Nope, this sucks. With ransom note style jersey. A ransom note style jersey? Cleveland word mark across the chest is made up of bits of logo from several injury rock bands and artists over the years, such as David Bowie and Pink Floyd. Long live rock. They could have done this so much better. I, I, in my opinion, I feel like this, no. I'm not a fan. I'm sorry. I think this is an L for me. Concept is really cool, but execution is ass. Yeah, I think the concept is very cool. I'm okay with the concept. No, you could have done better than this. This looks like a middle school project. You could have done better than that. That could have been done so much better. That could have been done like across the chest, bigger, slightly different colors within the, Cle even the, the white of Cleveland, I don't know, maybe. I just, I feel like they, I feel like they fumbled on the execution of this as well. Not so, not so well. Whoa, okay, Dallas, moving on. What's happening here? Dallas is making the 10th anniversary of the 2011 championship with a gold, white, and silver uniform. The team, then again, anything gold, white, and silver, you're pretty much nailed. The team name across the chest and gold player number and name in silver. <clears throat> and up the side of the shorts are the wings of a Pegasus, excuse me, oh damn. And a nod to the mythological creature, which was has watched over the city of Dallas. I think that's kind of sick. Depends on how it looks with the shorts. It might be overdone. It might be too much. It might be, they might have gone too hard on the Pegasus. I don't know, but I like it. I think it looks pretty good. I don't know. I think it looks kind of sick. Again, with grain of salt, I don't think they, anything that's white and gold in silver is going to look good. 
you could have put you could have put this in white gold and silver and i've been more like man let's give it a shot you know what i mean so it's not like the colors did all the heavy lifting here in my opinion the colors did all the heavy lifting i'm curious to see what it would look like in black that'd be kind of sick this is a this is a thumbs up this isn't like i'm losing my mind but this is i like this this is fine uh all right next up denver denver nuggets yeah i'd say that's a w i say that's a w that's not that's good i like the skyline they went back to the i like the skyline the nuggets nuggets are finishing up their skyline uniform series with a new flat irons red version of the design i was gonna say i feel like i've seen this before uh flat irons red was chosen as a reference to the state of colorado's landscape the nuggets originally wore a skyline across their jersey in a multicolored almost rainbow style from the early 1980s to the 1990s which i loved i love that jersey i still love that jersey uh the rainbow style is amazing uh but i do uh i like these these are fine nothing crazy because again this logo has been used before it's just the new colorway which is you know nice very sunsetty. um yeah it looks good i don't think it looks bad it looks fine Solid jersey choice. I'm not blown away, but I definitely don't think it's gross. I think it's a good jersey. All right, moving on. We got a lot of jerseys to cover. Detroit. Let's read. Detroit is famous for making automobiles. Everyone knows that. And apparently nothing else. Because once again, they're honoring the city's history as the Motor City. <laughs> as the Motor City. Blue and red with a circular logo around the player number. The team says their uniform is reminiscent of vintage auto emblems. Uh, bold, highway like striping, and gear surrounding the Pistons logo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Short is famous for making automobiles and apparently nothing else because once again, they're honoring the city's history as the Motor City. <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh the guy who wrote this is a pistons fan and he's tired <laughs> oh dude 100 percent. i i guess yeah sure this is whatever we're moving on oakland oh yeah i've never ever been a fan of this colorway ever it's always looked awful to me i hate it i hate orange and yellow despite the fact that they now play in san francisco Oof. Whereas they're showing their fans across the bay that they haven't forgotten about them with these, except for all the money that they took away from them, uh, with these new Oakland Forever uniforms. What the hell does Oakland Forever mean if you don't even live there? You're not even there anymore. Jerseys use the old Warriors uniform style worn in the early 2000s, which featured a logo with a gold hurling, uh, a lightning bolt, the gold hurling, a lightning bolt, a gold? It was occasionally a fun era for design. Uh, the Warriors played in Oakland for nearly 50 years before moving across the bridge in 2019. Awful. This is like almost offensive. This jersey to everyone who lives in Oakland and everyone who lives in San Francisco. You've made no one happy with this. You've reminded everyone in Oakland that you don't play for them anymore. With this horrendous throwback to these colors that should that should die. The early 2000s was not prime for design, in my opinion. The early 2000s were a rough period for anything design wise, especially in fashion, uh, in my opinion. And then you've just screwed over San Francisco by not recognizing them at all. So you've moved over there and you're like, hey, we're your team now. And they're like, oh, cool. Hey, here's an opportunity to celebrate our city. But f you, we're actually going to celebrate Oakland, who we don't even really like anymore. What are you doing? The things you could have done with San Francisco. Yeah, and you can't say Oakland forever when you left. Exactly. What a slap in the face this jersey is. Moving on. H-Town. Oh, gosh. This looks like my first thought when I look at this, scrubs. This looks like something a doctor would wear on jersey day at the hospital. <laughs> Not much to say here. Houston is going with an unusual color for their team this year. It's light blue, which looks to be a nod to the city of Houston's flag across the chest in white with red trim is H-Town, an informal nickname for the city because Houston is too long of a word. Yeah, people don't have time for Houston. It's two syllables, bro. No one's got time for that. <laughs> this is so lazy. This is, I can't, well, let's move on. Indiana Pacers. 
Oh my gosh, these are so boring. Pacers are thrown back for their city uniform to a design very much inspired by their old pinstripe blue set worn from the 1990s to 2006, including a trip to the 2000 NBA Finals, a trip which they didn't win. Uh, the seal of uh, the seal of the state of Indiana is also thrown in there on the wristband of the short wa waistband of the shorts. I can't see that, and no one buys the shorts. People buy the jersey, so put it on the jersey. Put the seal of the state on the jersey. That actually dope unis with the shorts. Are they dope unis with the shorts? They maybe with the shorts it spices up the jersey, but again, people aren't buying shorts. I mean, they are. I, and that's honestly, that is my opinion. That is with no actual backup information. But in my mind, I can't imagine that anyone for Christmas is like, hey, mom, can you give me an Indiana Pacers pair of shorts? Like, don't you want a jersey of one of your favorite players? No, 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 no. I like to be real ambiguous. And really, I'm into showing my legs off all year. So if we could just get some shorts in here, that'd be great. You sure? We can get you number 11. We can get you a jersey. No, 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 no. Shorts. It's not a bad jersey. It's just a lazy jersey. It's just nothing, nothing's really happening here. Hey. Moving on, LA Clippers. Let me read, let me read. It's a simple recolor of what the Clippers wore last year. Oh. Bro, did they, who? Why am I upset about this? I don't care. Uh, what once was white is now black. The design was created in partnership with artist, Mr. Cartoon as well. As well as graffiti artist uh, Royal Dog, celebrating the authentic spirit of LA street culture. So, L Town. So, with this, again, the only redeeming thing about this are two things. One, the font, which, cool, but very, I feel like I'm playing Los Santos. It feels like a GTA jersey. Like, if, like if there was a pro team within San Andreas, they would wear this. If, if Snoop Dogg made a made a remake of the Clippers jersey, he would get a custom design one that said this. The the only thing that for me is like spicing it up at all is the red and blue color piping around the uh, sleeves. Also true. You have two very different fonts um, between the actual logo and the number and the last name. This is just rough to look at. All right, next one, Lakers. Okay, let's see, Los Angeles Lakers. Let me read, let me read. Continuing with their quote lore series, the Lakers this year turned to honoring Elgin Baylor, a Hall of Fame small forward who played for the Lakers starting with the club when they were still in Minnesota back in 1958, right up through 1971. The uniform is in the same blue and white color scheme the Lakers and Baylor wore until 1967. With some silver trim thrown in there. So, Yeah, I think it's cool. Yeah, it's clean. It's a clean look, you know? I, that's the thing, like the Lakers jersey is just already so iconic that even if it, you recolor it for the most part, it's gonna look good, especially because it, you know, harkens back to the Minnesota Lakers, which is dope. Yeah, that's cool. That's a cool jersey. It's clean. It's nothing crazy. It's not blowing me away. I don't think it's, didn't take any design chances, uh, but I think it's a solid logo. I think it'll sell well. and. I like how plain things were back in the day, you know what I mean? Things were either just like milk toast or like you either got something like this or you got the the Eagles throwback. It's like they either went, you know what I mean? Like they were like, hey, we need some color, bam! Or they were like, it's basically tones of white. Memphis Grizzlies, okay. It's not hitting me, it's not hitting me that hard. It's, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this. Another uniform based on a local artist, the Memphis Grizzlies are paying tribute to a legendary singer-songwriter and Memphis native Isaac Hayes. The uniform is black with gold and teal trim and incorporates Hayes' signature in black in the lower left, as well as his trademark sunglasses. They did? Where are his sunglasses? Yeah, I, I'm okay with it. Like, this does feel very Memphis to me. This feels very Memphis, almost kind of like native. This has a feeling to me of like native like a totem here type thing and it looks kind of cool i'm cool with this this is a cool jersey i think that's i think that's neat the grizzlies have always kind of had this this kind of style and I, and I like it i like it it looks really good 
Very Vancouver. Yeah, yeah, very Vancouver Grizzlies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly, which I think is where they're coming from with this. So I like this. That's a, that's a W. That's a good one. That's good. I like this. Uh, next one, Miami Heat. You know what? Honestly, I like that they're doubling down on it. I'm all about it. I think this is great. This is perfect. This is fantastic. They're going all in, and I'm okay with it. Miami Factory, new fade. Hell yeah. I, I think they went for it. I, I respect this move 110% because they know what they're doing. Uh, and they're doing it on purpose. It feels very intentional. Uh, they're they're all in on Miami, dude. You want color? Here you go. Exactly. They're just, they're just doubling down, and I respect it. I respect this move. The Heat are ending their Vice series of uniforms with the Vice Versa jersey. Uh, that's also a very clever name. Uh, originally conceived as a trip back through time to the Miami of the late 1980s and the neon signs that lit up the city's nightlife. This extremely colorful uniform caps off uh, four straight seasons of Vice uniforms for the Heat with the first one introduced in 2017. Very nice. I think that's great. The block, like collegiate style. I like that a lot. Yeah, these are met. Yeah, these are these are whatever. The, uh, these are the most. These are boring. I, I'm moving on. I can't even. These are very boring jerseys. I don't know what the wave thing happening here is. It feels like it's 2004. I don't know what's going on. 2005 maybe. This is uh, why is it all wavy? Are are Bucks naturally wavy? The Milwaukee. Uh, the name Milwaukee has a few different origins. Alice Cooper once famously told us it means the good land. Definitely doesn't mean that. The Bucks are focusing on one of its other meanings: the gathering place by the water. What? With their new lake and rivers inspired all blue uniforms. Three shades of blue. A wave running across the jersey. And reflective numbers for a very unfamiliar design for the usually green and cream Milwaukee Bucks. Moving on. What the f*** is this? It's not as bad. It's not as bad as I made it. It just looks lazy. It just doesn't look very... I don't know. Minnesota is known as the North Star State. That's how uh, their old hockey team got their name after all. And these new Timberwolves uniforms pay tribute to that. A black jersey with a single green star placed above the abbreviated team name in silver. Several silver stars act as striping. The right side and continue down the shorts. Uh, video games made me think of Xbox color scheme with that jersey. Yeah, yeah. Very Xbox color scheme. I, I just, it's fine. I just don't, yeah. I just don't care about these, which is how I feel about the T-Wolves in general. That's a thing. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I, they, yeah. Yep, that's pretty much all that needs to be said about that. New Orleans Pelicans. Now, I actually have some pretty... <sighs> I got some high hopes for these. I don't know how they're going to look. I have a feeling they're going to let me down. Let's see. Nah, that's an L from me, dog. That's an L from me, dog. Pelicans are taking the name... City jerseys are hard here and straight up putting the flag. <laughs> it's the damn flag of New Orleans across the entire uniform. Three horizontal bands of red, white, and blue. Three gold fleur de lis. Well, the jersey has a blue stripe at the bottom. This won't be seen during game play. <laughs> As it'll be tucked into the shorts. The shorts have their own blue stripe at the very bottom of each leg. So it's not even... You're not even going to see the blue? Gross. Moving on. The only thing that even tied it up was this stripe at the bottom. Oh, gosh. New York Knicks. So here's the thing. I saw these. I saw this on a player. And honestly, I like it. I don't like the side here, really. I feel like this could have been a little bit better uh, uh, executed. I like this a lot, but I've already told you, I like this style of font. I like this color. It's very collegiate type of old school number. Uh, I, I like this one. I do like this. I don't think that it's, so here's the thing. Let me say this. I don't think that they do a very good job of tying it into the city. Let me, let me, let me look at this. In collaboration with New York based fashion brand Kith, the New York Knicks will support these bizarre black, orange and blue gradient rich uniforms on occasion in 2021, the chest which is a circular logo with the phrase city never sleeps above the team name. Uh, I, I like this design. So 
And I'm not partial to the Knicks or anything. Like, I know I live in New York, but I'm not partial. I actually do like this for whatever reason, personally. I'm not saying that everyone does. I'm not saying this is a very good jersey in general because uh, I'm not huge on the side here. But I saw it on someone, one of the players. I can't remember where I saw it. I think it was on Instagram or something. I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of dope. But that being said, I'm also a fan of black jerseys. I like the black jersey. I like the number font. Uh, I like the circular logo around the number font. I don't know. I think they look good, personally. That's everybody. Everybody gets one chat. Everybody gets one that they like that no one else does. This is mine. Uh, Oklahoma Thunder. Celebration of Seattle, Oklahoma. The Thunder will uh, wear these blue, orange, and black diagonally striped uniforms. The season Oklahoma across the front is a similarly style as the state flag. State map is on the waistband of the shorts, and Unite is written in the lower left. Challenge themselves to reach further and aim higher together. Yeah, big NASCAR vibes on this for sure. NASCAR called. Uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, just like kind of disappointment, disappointment. These are whatever. All right, Orlando Magic. Come on. The Magic are wearing another orange themed uniform for their city edition set in 2021. The pinstripes and star are a throwback to the Magic's past uniforms dating back to the late 1980s. While also updating the look to include the color orange to represent the bright future of tomorrow. F what? That shit was ass. The orange is a nod to the sh sunshine and citrus industry, both synonymous with the state of Florida. I love this. I don't like the orange. I don't like the orange at all. Uh, I do like... I'm always a fan of the Orlando style. I love this font. I love the star. I love the whole theme of Orlando magic. I think it's great. I like it a lot. I was really hoping for like a uh, just like a super blue or like a deep black or even like a silver or gold even would have been awesome. Font's fine. Even the even the 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 font of the uh, numbers very Disney like it a lot, but this uh, color falls flat for me. Isn't that's it? Oh no, it's not. Oh my gosh. What? Philadelphia 76ers. If you're gonna go with the black to 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 be inspired by the Sixers from Allen Iverson's era, go with the font too. I think it would have been dope to see in Philadelphia, possibly in the Sixers font. I think that'd be kind of cool. I think it'd be kind of that'd been kind of fun. Okay, yeah. So that's a pass. Uh, just yeah, these are just fine. It's fine. It's whatever. Uh, the Valley Phoenix Suns. Um, seems like they tried. Suns are looking beyond the city of Phoenix for their city uniform. Instead, they'll be honoring the entire metropolitan area, sometimes referred to as the Valley of the Sun. The uniform is black with a purple, red, and orange pixelated sunrise slash sunset. Love that. Or the Arizona desert and Camelback Mountain. The quote valley is scrawled across the chest in white. Yeah, I like it. I like, I like pixelated. Maybe that's just the gamer in me. I just like the pixelated. I think that's cool. Good job. Honestly, did not expect much from the Phoenix Suns here, but uh, they did good. They certainly did better than Philly. Imagine having your house on the jerk. Uh, it's just, uh, I, I don't know. Anyway, I like this. This is cool. This gets a this gets a thumbs up. This is good. I like it's a thumbs up. Portland Trailblazers. What's up with the, what's the G doing? What the fuck? Is that brown? Paul saw the Portland Trailblazers jerseys and thought to himself, That shit was ass. Trailblazers are celebrating the spirit of Oregon and the beauty of its landscape, as well as the trail of tribal nations who have called the land their home since the beginning. I respect, I respect that. The uniforms are black. Okay, they are black. With Oregon scripted across the front directly from a sign which shines in Old Town Portland, a topographic map makes up the base of the jersey and a series of colorful stripes represent the colors of a sunset over the mountains run up the side everyone's doing sunsets and sunrises dude a portion of the net proceeds from the jersey a portion of the net proceeds from the jersey sales oh a portion okay i needed to not comma that a portion of the net proceeds from the jersey sales will be donated to the native american youth and family center by the trailblazers and biofreeze then get them more involved 
so I'm all about like the causes, right? Like I love the causes. This is cool. Uh, a portion of the net proceeds in the Jersey will be donated to the Native American Youth and Family Center, which is great. If that, like, what what part did they play? Did you did you pull any themes from the from the natives in the area? From there, uh, you're just gonna do like I, I'm fine with topographical. Like that's very in right now, right? Like topograph is very in. So is tie dye. Topograph is in. Like that's fine. Whatever. Uh. The sunset on the side, I guess. Sure. What is this Oregon sign? What is this sign that they're they're pulling from? Scripted across the f old town. It's clean. It's a clean jersey. You know, it's a clean jersey. There are worse ones. There are definitely worse ones than this, hands down. I mean, the Boston Celtics is so far hands down the absolute garbage, the the worst jersey of these, without a doubt. Yeah, but that's also bad. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. This is also bad. What happened here? What happened in the original construction of this sign? Where? Where's the rest of the G? These are upsetting me more than they should. Next, Jersey. Where to begin? Maybe the fact that it's called Sack Town? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop abbreviating the first couple letters or letter of your city hyphen town stop it snuck a sack in there exactly it's what they thought it's almost like they snuck a sack in there sack town really was ball city taken scrote central those were all taken goochville gone maybe taint town would be better sack town why am i so upset everyone calls it sack town in cali they should stop what is this font and why is it outlined in red? In red, what? What happens if you mix together a bunch of different uniforms from a team's history? You get the Sacramento Kings new city uniform. A trip through the team's visual history. It's a mashup of their original 1980s powder blue set with their infamous checkerboard jerseys uh, in the 1990s, and their all black road set of the 2000s, topped off by the Sack Town lettering from their 2019 city jersey. That is horrendous. The more you say sack town, the worse it gets. Sack town. San Antonio. Okay. 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 Yeah, I like these. A wonderful tribute to their Fiesta logo era. The San Antonio Spurs are breathing a much needed life into their black and silver look. With the inclusive inclusion of teal, pink, and orange, the Spurs never wore these colors on their uniforms back in the day. But it was present on their logos and worn on shooting stars and merchandise throughout the 1990s. That's right. It, well, yeah, you're right. It was never actually, you're right. I'm, I'm happy with this. This is good. I like this. This is a good, this is a, this is good. These are dope. What? First of all, the, the image is awful. I don't, is there a waistband at the bottom of this jersey? Take away the fact that, the fact that Drake worked with them. Take that away. Toronto Raptors are again working with their most famous fan, Drake, by sporting a black and gold uniform inspired by the color scheme of his OVO fashion brand. Uh, the uniforms features Toronto across the chest and the team's original typeface style, along with a jagged line across the chest as well as across the shorts representing the scratch of a Raptors claw. We can all celebrate the team wearing a uniform with Toronto across the front, even if They'll be playing far, far away in Tampa, Florida this season. We the South. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's fine. It's just okay. It's fine. Nothing special. Thing looks, it doesn't look bad. Uh, I think it looks good, but it's just nothing. It doesn't blow me away. It's fine. It's fine. Utah Jazz. Yes. I like this. I like this. I don't even know what it's about, but I like it. That everyone, everyone, there's like five different teams doing this sunset blocking here. Uh, a lot of teams doing it. I like it. Again, nothing special, but they're they're not bad. The Jazz, who were the only team to wear the same city edition uniform in consecutive seasons, have finally changed things up, but not much. Simple recolored version of their previous city look, now black. Still a tribute to the red rock of the state of Utah, a gradient from yellow to orange to red, before giving away to the black of the base uh, of the set. Washington Wizards. I'm okay with this. I like this. Actually. Yeah. 
I like this. Few things go hand in hand quite like Washington Wizards and disappointing city uniforms, and that continues here in the 2021. See, I, yeah, but I like this. Like, this is fine with me. Uh, the Wizards are going gray with the team's DC alternate logo and the, on the chest and Stars and Stripes patterns up either side, both the jerseys and the shorts. There it is. <laughs> this guy does not like it. This guy does not like this jersey. The hand is always funny looking, but it's a retro look. Clearly, this is his least favorite jersey, which is hilarious because the Boston Celtics one is actual garbage. Great job, guys. We did it. We went through all of the jerseys for the 2021 season under the City Edition. Nicely done, everybody. Great job. Hi, guys. I'm Action Jackson. Thank you so much for watching that video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and ringing the notification bell. And also, maybe check out a little bit of this content over here. Huh? Yeah. Uh-huh.